me now uh, go back to law and order and um, <coughs> demonstrate to you what happens if I try to uh, convince um, a simple tone, a sinusoid, to travel through um, a tube. So here I have an earphone and uh, I could plug that earphone into um, um, the uh, loudspeaker exit and uh, have uh, then what do I want to uh, have uh, one uh, sound wave generator and I could start it and you would do it but, but that is actually a tone, I, I promise you and um, if I go up a higher frequency you may hear now uh, let's, uh, let's let me uh, put this um, sinusoid uh, through, the, uh, through the tube uh, and uh, I have a clay here that makes it tight and then you will hear that at some frequencies the tone will be loud because there is resonance in the in the wave tube and the resonance means that the sound that is reflected at the open end uh, will come in phase with the sound that is being uh, inserted into the into the uh, tube <coughs> so then so uh, lo uh, loud sound will emerge And maybe you hear that it is rather loud, but if I go a bit higher, uh, it is not loud at all. And if I go a bit lower, it is very soft also. So there is a peak in the frequency curve of this tube at that frequency, and there are more peaks. So we could uh, visit the next. And then this is it maximum in the loudness and if I go higher it's weaker and lower it is weaker too. So this is resonance. This is because the sound wave that I put in by the earphone uh, is um, in synchrony with the sound that is being reflected at the open end and that is, co that is what, what the resonance is. Thank you very much. Um, okay. So what, what I did was that I had a sinusoid and it was traveling from low to high frequencies uh, through the tube and the tube has this frequency curve of peaks where the sound gets loud and then valleys in between. 